Welcome! In this video, I'm going to show you how to add agents into your office website. To do this, you need to access your dashboard. So scroll down to the very bottom of your website page and then click on User Login. Here you're going to implement the name or email and password that was provided to you in the welcome email once you started your website. From your dashboard, you're going to click on Agents and then Add Agent. Here we're going to add their first and last name. Keep in mind that the middle name is optional. We're going to choose a title from the drop-down list. And then under Agent Local Board ID, if you're from Toronto, you can just enter your TREB ID. However, if you have a RETS feed with your website, you can enter your RETS ID. Under Website, we're going to enter this agent's website. And under designation, we can add this if it's applicable. If not, we can just leave it blank. Under agent's picture, you can choose to add a photo that they've provided you, or they can add this in the future. But for now, we're going to add our own photo. And then we're going to scroll down and then add their contact details. For mobile, you can add their personal phone number. The agent order identifies the order that they will be in once they are all organized into your roster. So if you wish for this agent to be the first, second, or third, you can identify the order here. Website bio is where they can add their own information about themselves. If they've provided you with some content to add, you can go ahead and add that. Otherwise, this is something that they can do themselves once they receive the user login and password for their own dashboard. For now, we're going to add a bio that I've prepared myself. And then we're going to scroll down to continue this page. Now, in this section, they can identify the areas that they cover, any languages that they speak, their education, specialities, and so forth. This is information that should be left for them to include, as this information may not be available to you. And then once you're done adding information about this agent in this page, you can click on the I agree box under Portal Provider Agreement. Then we're going to scroll down to the very bottom and create a username and password for this agent. Once you've completed entering the information at the bottom, you can click on Create Account. You should see a notification at the top that says a new user account for Trisha Agent has been created. Now to view your agent roster from your website, go ahead and access the front page of your website. Under Menu, you should see a link called Find Agent. Click on Search, and then the very first agent should read the new agent that we have just added. For each agent, there are three links. There is a View My Properties, which goes directly to their own featured listings, an Email Me link, which goes to a contact form where the message gets sent to the email address associated with their page, and then the Visit My Site link, which goes to their website, should they have their own personal website. Just below is the website bio, which we added earlier. Should they wish to make changes to this page, they can simply scroll down to the very bottom of the page, click on User Login, and then enter Enter their own dashboard by including the name or email and password that we had created for them earlier. Now, should you as the admin of the office website want to edit the information of your agents, you can access your own dashboard by entering the office username and password. And then once you enter the dashboard, go to Agents and then View All Agents. In this section, you'll be able to view all of the agents in your roster. And for each agent, you have the ability to view their agent profile, edit their agent profile, which includes their website bio, name, title, specialities, and so forth. You can also view the agent's leads so that you can track their follow-ups, communications, and the number of leads that have been assigned to them from your office website. Under Agent Roster Display Settings, you can also organize how they are displayed in your website, either randomly, alphabetically by first name, or alphabetically by last name. 